different algorithms that does the selective smoothing. So those algorithm names are given there. So we have uh, H2.64 encoder and adapt, uh, one which adaptively compresses the video. Now, any video that we, uh, you, you must have observed, right? So when you um, are taking a lot of pictures on your phone, when you're taking too many videos, your phone storage gets over, isn't it? After a point, you cannot take videos. It says low disk space. Have you ever observed it? Yes, ma'am. Yes. So in that case, that means the memory is too much. It has occupied a lot of memory. The same thing happens, you know, if you capture each and every day, whatever is happening on the road or whatever is happening in the shopping malls, if you are capturing all those videos, imagine how much memory they need to store it. It's a lot of memory, isn't it? We don't require that much. So, only in case of emergency, we will use the CCTV camera. Like if something goes wrong, then we go back and check, isn't it? So, what we do is we compress the videos. We try to make the videos smaller. We eliminate unwanted things in the video and only what is necessary, we store that. So that's why adaptively it compresses the video and we store it in the hard disk. Okay, so I know that's how we store the videos. Alright? Okay, now, these videos, now once you get the object of interest, so whatever we need, right, the human beings, once we get that, we send it to the activity recognition system. So here we have the activities which are classified into normal activities where a person is simply walking then a person is simply playing with his friend or you know maybe just picking up garbage on the road these are all normal activities so the activity recognition system will divide it into normal activities and abnormal activities okay now in case there is an abnormal activity then obviously we have to ring the alarm right we should tell somebody either we should uh, inform the cops or if it's an accident, we have to inform the uh, hospital so that they send an ambulance, right? So once we classify it to normal and abnormal, whenever we see an abnormal activity, we will cause, we'll call for the alarm. Is this procedure clear, Saigo? Yes, ma'am. Yeah? Okay, so I'm just telling this to you in simple terms.